Hi, my name is Charles Radovich. I'm originally from Las Vegas. I moved out here in 1999 to attend USC and I've been here ever since. So I completed all three uh, degrees in aerospace engineering, so bachelor's, master's, and PhD, and I'm currently in my third year of teaching. AME is aerospace and mechanical engineering, and I became interested in it as it goes back to when I was a kid, and I grew up next to an Air Force base, and there was always awesome things in the sky, doing things that um, maybe they shouldn't have, or they're going flying faster than anything else. So I was always in, in awe of that and amazed by just aerospace applications and engineering itself. I teach. Uh, basic flight mechanics, which is a sophomore level course, and then I teach uh, Mechatronics Laboratory, which is a junior level course, and then um, senior design projects. Mechatronics is a intensive lab course that dives into mechanical, optical, and electronic devices and puts it all together so that students can undergo experimentation, uh, perform their own experiments, make measurements, and quantify their observations. On campus, the other thing I'm involved in is I'm the faculty advisor for the USC Aero Design Team. That's a group that designs, builds, and flies their own aircraft each year for a competition put on by the AIAA, which is the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics. The two lab courses in particular are my favorite because we have a traditional course setting where we have standard lectures, we can introduce new topics, engineering principles, but then we walk over to the lab and we get to experience the, the material we've been talking about. It's where you get to make things, you get to break things, and that's really, really where you get to put it all together and, and experience the engineering principles which are so important. How does what you learn in the classroom apply to the bigger picture where you're headed? So what we offer in the lab is a chance for you to experience practical engineering problems and how to solve them. So once you get out on your feet and you have to solve problems for the first time, uh, you'll know how to approach a problem, how to experiment, how to design, and how to solve practical engineering problems. One of my favorite things to work in is the wind tunnel. So junior level students get their hands on the wind tunnel. And so that's up in the mechanical, or that's up in the Mechatronics laboratory. So if you'd like to go check that out, we can go up right now. What we have here is just the basics for experimentation. So all these devices allow us to measure an electrical response from sensors such as strain gauges, thermocouples, pressure transducers, so we can record these things and take measurements for an experiment. So this is the AME lab wind tunnel. And so at the end of the junior year of the Mechatronics lab, students will actually get to experiment here. So uh, what you see in, inside here is a basic airfoil where students measure the aerodynamic lift and drag performance. The next year, and, and throughout the year actually, a lot of the design teams come to use this wind tunnel for their own design projects. And here's an example of, of such an investigation from the air design team. This is an airflow they used for their competition plan, and so they wanted to measure the aerodynamic performance in this wind tunnel. So we can head over to the aerodynamics, uh, air design team's lab right now and take a look at what they're doing. So this is where the students get to design and build and test and, and make their own aircraft for the yearly competition which is held either in Wichita, Kansas or Tucson, Arizona. There's always three missions that the stu students have to perform and one of them is a speed mission and the other two are some creative payload missions. So whether it's carry a lot of volume uh, in terms of payload, so a large volume or a large mass or a combination of both. Sometimes you have to carry bombs on the wing, sometimes you have to carry them internally. Uh, sometimes you have to climb to 100 meters and drop water. So each year it changes and keeps the teams on their toes. I'm the faculty advisor, so what I get to do is help guide the students in the design and the testing of, of whatever configuration aircraft they choose. So they could decide to choose a more con conventional airplane with a single wing, single tail, uh, or maybe they choose to build a tailless aircraft or a blended wing body airplane. So each year they get to decide what configuration is going to give them the best chance of winning, and I just get to help them design that aircraft. <laughs>